You're listening to the voice of TK Coleman, and this is another episode of TK's Two Cents. Being correct is about more than making statements. Let's talk about it. That's the topic. Tweet number one. There is no correlation between being blunt and being correct. Let's get real about keeping it real. We all know people in our lives who tell it like it is. And usually what we mean when we use that description to talk about someone is that this is a person that is not afraid to hurt our feelings in order to let us know what's on their mind. This is a person that's so confident, so sure of themselves, and so determined to make sure that the right information gets out there or that their opinion is heard, that even if they've got to make you mad or make you stop being friends with them or make you annoyed, they will say what they need to say. We usually call these people blunt. Hey, my brother's blunt. My cousin's blunt. My friend, let me warn you, he's blunt. He tells it like it is. I want to add something to the discussion on bluntness. And that is, you can be someone who speaks in a manner that is transparent and direct and still be guilty of bad logic, of bad logic and flawed reasoning. Just because someone has a lot of bravado, just because someone is brash, it doesn't mean that they're correct. It doesn't mean they're telling you something that is worth orienting your life around. When you get around people who are confident, that's amazing. Model that confidence in your own life because you're going to need it. But don't mistake the confidence that people have in themselves with being right. Do not mistake the courage that people have to say things even when they're unpopular as evidence of truth. Sometimes courageous people are flat out wrong. Sometimes people that are direct are directly erroneous. Sometimes people that are blunt are bluntly mistaken. There's no guarantee in either direction. Always do your thinking for yourself and base your confidence on what you know for yourself, not on how confident someone else is in the way that they can say it. Let's go to tweet number two. I need to think about that for a while is a valid response to any question or objection. File this under things that are true, even when on the internet. Sometimes online, when you take away the nuance of being able to talk in person and you add in the factor that there's an audience watching a conversation taking place, it can be easy to let the ego get involved and feel like you need to know the answer to every question and to feel like you need to have an immediate compelling response to every objection. Because after all, if someone makes an objection to what you say and you don't immediately respond, doesn't it mean that they're right? Even if it doesn't, they're gonna get 10 likes for that. And if you wait too long to respond, you won't get any likes for your response. The internet can put a lot of pressure on us to pretend like we know things that we don't know or to, try to, to, or to try to come up with answers faster than the natural pace at which we're able to come up with them. And I'm here to remind you that saying I don't know is still an option. Saying I need time to think about that is still an option. Saying let me get back to you on this is still an option. And you know what else is an option? Saying, hey, look, I appreciate your interest in this topic. I don't really have time to get into this, but here are some resources you can check out if you're looking for something that makes the case for my point of view. Whatever the case may be, there are a lot of interesting and good debates that happen online, and many of them should happen. But just because debates are good, it doesn't mean you need to be the one who's always hosting them. That's about as plain as I can put it. That's TK's two cents, y'all. I appreciate you listening. I appreciate you tuning in. If you're listening on the podcast, please be sure to subscribe. If you're watching on YouTube, please be sure to let me know what you'd like to hear me talk about in the comments and be sure to hit the like button, subscribe, and forward this to a family member or a friend member or friend that might benefit from hearing what I have to say. All right, everybody, peace and have an amazing day.